What's going on, people? Um, I was thinking about this one being a response to um, you heard me the first time's video. She did the latest one. Um, Don't let the blackface fool you. The strong vid. Um, she made a lot of valid points, um, especially knowing that video. I'm just gonna add live for a little bit and just point out a little bit of the point she made. Um, strong point that she was basically taking us back to school, taking us back to, you know, the old days back in the, probably the 1910s and 20s when you had this uh, lady named, uh, I think Margaret Sager, I think that's her name, um, uh, how she was able to get some of these preachers to give black people birth control because um, she was talking about how black people were growing at an alarming rate and she wanted to stop it and and that was one of the ways that was one of the main ways she did it and um that's what i'm talking about like like black people especially in today's time it's gotten to the point where we're blind most of us is blind and we don't understand that you know every black person don't have our best interests at heart like just because a person is black we automatically assume that oh you know they're looking out for us or they have our backs and stuff but you know we got some of these black people and some of these leaders they could be giving us clone you know clone meat and black people say oh it's okay we'll, we'll go ahead and take it and we got they got some of these rappers that rap about anything everything under the sun but oh because because they're black oh you know we're supposed to accept them you know, black. You know, you got some blacks that make a mockery out of us, and have all types of stuff. You know, just making fun of us, and you know, sell us. You know, degrading stuff, degrading images, or you know, etc., etc. But because they're black, we're supposed to accept them. And I marvel at you know some of my peers how the way they look up to some blacks. It's scary when you had Little Wayne. I think about a, f a few years ago, he was like one of the most influential Americans in this country. Now, what does that tell you? <laughs> it's just crazy. And she also, you heard me the first time, she also made another valid point about how um, how rappers, most of the rappers, the majority of them in the mainstream, they don't really encourage um, you know, young black dudes around my age to pursue an education and I felt like this for a while I mean for a while it's like you know they want us to be everything but a positive black dude in society it's always the same stereotypical stuff you know a rapper or a producer or a singer or a comedian or a clown and anything else y'all can think of. No, they they don't really um, encourage us to to try to get an education or to try to become a doctor or to try to become a, a nurse or um, an astronaut or a businessman um, or um, anything else. You know, so many careers, but you know they don't really encourage us to become anything positive. And it's probably the same thing with um, you know the the young black girls as well. But the young black girls they have more resources. You know, they got Oprah, they got Tyra, they have um. I mean, hell, they even got Tiny and Toya, <laughs> uh, Keisha Cole's mob, you know, it, them type of things. But us as black dudes, we don't really have a lot of resources to, you know, people who we can look up to besides actors and maybe, you know, producers who don't fit that, that, that criminal lifestyle. But it's just insane, man. Right? It's insane that us as, you know, young black men, we have these rappers and because they're black, we're supposed to accept them for who they are no and people just don't break it down like the way you heard me the first time broke it down in her video I mean she broke it down to like you know molecules and stuff and um she also made another valid point about um how the conscientious you know rappers and the R&B singers don't have you know they'll have limited airplay or no airplay at all and that's something I've definitely noticed ever since you know I started watching you know BET back in 2004 when you know when I finally when um, my family we finally you know able to watch cable and stuff back in 2004 I remember when you know you had conscientious um, rappers and R&B artists that was getting their play not only on the radio but 106 in part as well
and you know they was getting their play but as the years progressed I slowly noticed that they were starting to get you know less airplay and less airplay and less airplay to the point where they probably got no play at all now you know in two, uh, 2010 you know the year we're in now I don't watch BET anymore but I'm pretty sure on 106 in part you'll probably find not a single conscientious R&B singer or um, a rapper on that show or on the radio as well either one they just you know they were there and they fell off the face of the earth or they they had to sell out you know they have this they had to sell out because if not they wasn't gonna get paid or get money and on that note you know I really can't blame them because I know they're trying to survive but at the same time it's a shame has come down to this um, so for me personally I really don't you know I do my own research I don't really expect the radio or uh, BET MTV whatever to really you know tell me what's you know what to listen to because you know that's how America operates you know America you know if pop culture tells America to listen to da 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 then America's gonna listen to it that's how America operates it's a sucky situation, but that's how it, that's that's how it works. And when it comes to you know some blacks, we have be, we've been so blind and we've just been taught to accept anything and to accept negativity all around us that you know it's just clouded, it's consumed us in the black community. And until this improves or whatever, it's just gonna get worse. So um, on that note, you know to uh you know you heard me the first time you know great vid and i definitely co-sign um just wanted to add live for a little bit and uh i definitely want to know how y'all guys feel on this um you know topic or whatever um y'all have a good one and um until next time peace people bye